Hello guys, welcome to my video series tutorial to learn bot framework using Python language. In this tutorial, I am going to focus on how to use default template which provided by Microsoft bot framework. For example, if you are a Visual Studio user, you know that uh, create the you know new project. There are default template is available. You can select the project template and you can start the write the code. So the default bo boilerplate of the code has written here visual studio code so there is no concept called a project template something like that so for example if you go and check it's a new file or new window something like that it will provide if you new file so default it will file it will come you can write the code and you can save as dot poe file or based on your language you can save as the file extension so how to i can use default template which provided by framework Please keep on watching. You can understand how to create that one. So first, you have to install the cookie cutter. Cookie cutter is a main package. This package it will helpful for us to use. You know, it it will use to create the package or create the project. So once the installation is done, is a default command pip install cookie cutter. Once the installation is done, go to the command prompt and select the path. Select the path where you can create the project template. So this is my path I selected. So here type the command python hyphen m and the path. This path I will you know, add in the description. You can go and select it. So this is a def default template path available in the framework. So just given the path. Enter. So first it will ask bot name. That means your project name. Okay, what is your project name? So eco bots. So once the project name is given, next it will prompt description. Okay, write the description of this project. So description example of cobot example of ecobot enter that's it so if you go to the path you can see the default file has created all the required file has created first you can see that uh, main file app dot you know python file you can see the default code has written so our code and this code is entirely different here they use a web application no router method and web app run app and a config file read the all the settings from the config file here the config file is available port number app id and app password from our code all, all are constant we can just directly we given the 3978 port number something like that and in order that they written default error handling function also if any error occurred in the bot so if you are writing the you know you are interacting to the bot some error is happened some runtime error something like that 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 is captured here this function on error we will talk about this one later and One moment yeah so far we used the bot framework adapter settings as a null here app id and app password for a last tutorial configuration azure configuration we passed as a app id and app password directly here so those settings read from the config file app id and app password next if you go to the main code bot.py python file here you can see default message is written message activity and if any new member added and the default message is prompt hello and welcome we'll run this code and we'll see the output how it's working just if i yeah it started okay and open see 
I'll just restart the conversation. See here, hello and welcome. Default message is coming. So if I type the message, hello, I am new to bot. So it's a, you know, this bot default, it will send the same message. You said, hello, I am new to bot. Okay. You said, okay. So this default code has written. So from here after we use this code only and we'll you no know, we'll work on that uh, other concepts okay thanks to all bye